Alright, hello guys, welcome to my Undertale speedrun. We are at sec 2 hours on my second loop for the game. We are at, at the ruins. No, just kidding. We. Like, you know. We haven't looped the game or anything. Uh, it's been so slow. Before I begin, I wanted to say. I was worried that I would keep coming up with like topics to discuss during the gameplay and that I would be unable to progress because of that. You know, just standing around talking like I am right now, but it turns out that just playing, just focusing on the gameplay, I don't really have the... Um, I guess the mental capacity to think of different things to talk about. Um, here I was yesterday, just um, in the garden, watering the plants and thinking about all the things that I could possibly talk about while playing, you know, such as politics or how Deus Ex is uh, by far a better game than this, uh, but I suppose that's just um, what you think about when you know you are otherwise idle and your thoughts go anywhere else but, on, but, but what you're doing right now. This tree is like growing in the middle of the road. I suppose the like oh, lighter patch here is supposed to be a road. This is weird. But yeah, let's let's let's, let's continue. This is all like just two colors or three technically if you count the blacks. The black. Huh. Yeah, they probably don't. We are kind of. Well, I guess we don't know what we're doing anymore. want to go back home. The wardrobe cannot be interacted with. Is that a photo frame? Hmm. Hmm. Dusty. Right. Okay. Shoebox. 
yeah you see this this gives me the heebie jeebies what are those shoes doing here you know still thinking um, about my theory of her being like a kind of kidnapper slash murderer but she is making us a pie so she can't be all bad right This is neat. The same song plays in two different uh, variants and it switches if you turn off the lights. I'm gonna click on everything in this house as per usual. Let's uh, <laughs> let's snoop in her trash while she is distracted. how the text box took a pause, pause there. Are the snails alive? They will, if they are, they then they would be crawling out, I suppose. And they would like probably face starvation because I do not see anything for them to eat. Is that a cactus? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gratuitous, like, you know, Japanese culture references. The most tsundere of plants. I, oh, I, I completely forgot about this. But yeah, the, the ga this game's humor is. know about stuff like tsundere? Are we like a filthy Wapanese otaku or something? How can a kid be like <laughs> uh, knowledgeable about this kind of stuff? Like a little kid, I assume. Uh, it's just the game's humor. It, it, it's obviously not the character's thoughts. Let's look in the drawers. What, uh, are there like her sex toys inside or... Oh. Hmm, yeah, this is, this is messed up. You know, she should have like a horseshoe drawer, but she doesn't have hooves. It, it, you know, it does not cease to bother me how she has like feet, like she's all, what's, what's the term, plantigrade, she walks on, you know, whole feet and has just, you know, fingers, no hooves. Yeah, that's, that's just, that freaks me out. Ha, huh. cool. I did not expect the, the drawer to have more than one uh, dialogue box. I <laughs> Indeed I can't. It doesn't make any sense. Subterranean plants. Uh, Tifa? Typha? Cattails. this plant, if I can uh, line up with it, 
cannot be interacted with. I don't really know my bed sizes. But yeah, this one looks extra wide. Can I interact with the flower? It's like the only thing in here that's yellow. Guess not. The chair? Chair yellow. <laughs> uh, this, this game's humor just ramps up randomly. <laughs> like, this, what? Wait, wait, what on earth is that supposed to like? How do you even... What, what is it like labeled? Humor. Gratuitous, random. Kinda of funny. I do not believe, like, she's huge. She would have difficulty sitting on this chair. Well, obviously not. I mean, like, come on, what are we snooping around here for? Of course. Boy, more jokes. Uh, uh, I don't know. Because he was lonely. Bellonly. Ah, it's terrible. <laughs> Well, if she makes jokes and writes them down, then I guess like she's not completely deranged. What if I say no? Nothing happens. What a pointless choice. Wait. Suggest that, like, the goat woman. I'm gonna stop calling her that now, by the way. It's, it's like, it's, it, it was only funny the first 15 times. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's getting kind of boring. But yeah, Toriel is like. The music seems to suggest she's. Uh, she actually doesn't really hide anything from us. Uh, like, she doesn't really plan to do anything to us. But those shoes, where the they come from? I mean, you are not wearing shoes. 
maybe you should. Two larger chairs and one smaller one, I guess. I think. I guess. specific precaution Oh look! Monsters uh, have been writing books That's cool Here's some uh, game lore Good name. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember that the save point, uh, this one, the save point's name actually. It said, "Whoops." It says home. So I suppose the history book um, actually refers to this very place. What was it again? Is that the end of the caverns? Oh. So I guess... This is where we fell down. history for us. Uh, yeah, I think you're imagining things. You really shouldn't be doing that. You're gonna get burned. Lucas. Unless it's magic again. Brand name? Does it like imply it, like it came from the surface, from the human world? Are the monsters like able to live here and like explore under some disguise and come back with human technology? That would explain how, how they you know have cell phones working here, I suppose. I keep saying I suppose a lot. Take it out and put it in in the in the bin, Toriel. Gingerbread monsters is a gingerbread man. Huh. Ah, yeah, fire magic. Yeah, I was, I, I knew something was up. So I suppose, I can damn it, I <laughs> said that again. I guess uh, the fire in the fireplace is also magic or magical. If it doesn't really burn you. Downstairs to explore. What's in your basement? Is that where you do your uh, shady business? You know, of d 
disposing or you know processing the people who fall down here. Uh, I guess not. Settling. What you are going to homeschool me? What? How about I, you know, come back the way I came from? If you can help me with that. Question again. Um. Wow, that's a lot of dialogue, actually. Well, I know you eat them. What are the remaining seventy one uses? Talk about that later. <laughs> That's a random fact. All right. <sighs> I wonder if what if I call her. <laughs> That's cool. I rem I don't remember trying that five years ago, but <laughs> looks like she has special dialogue if you call her while standing next to her, and sh even her her like um, overworld her overworld world the sp um, sprite's mouth moves when she speaks. That's cool. She is not shown holding a phone any anymore, though. I guess technically she is just talking to us directly instead of answering the phone. Neat. Like I, uh, I was trying to suggest earlier, like Toby has really thought of almost everything you can do in this game, so it's really nice. You can uh, experiment with things and. Tabby has probably predicted uh, that he would try doing something like that. That is of course because this game does not have much uh, in the way of what you can actually do, it's rather linear. I expected it not to be when I first played, but as you have seen so far there are no branching paths, there is only one way to progress. I guess that's the necessary uh, trade-off for, you know, um, trying to predict and react to anything a player could do. Okay, well, I wonder if... What if I call her elsewhere in home at home? Ah. Nothing happens.
Uh oh. The the calm home music is gone. What is this place? Hmm. So many different dialogues for just trying to go in here. That's like the fifth one. Six, I think. Oh, she's mad now. Her dialogue sprite has changed. The eighth one. Ninth. Is there going to be a tenth? <laughs> she looks stumped with me, like kind of <laughs> flabbergasted. I guess that's that's it then. Yeah. Okay. I suppose we can't progress through here just yet. That's all there is to to check before trying to progress through the game. I know that um, the story will move on if I ask her how to exit the ruins, which of course is our goal to go home. I also know that if we go to bed, um, she will leave us a slice of the butterscotch cinnamon pie on the floor. I don't know why she would put it on the floor, but yeah. But I wonder... Can I skip the, skip the pie if I just try to progress through the game? Will I not be able to get it? Let's check. Another 30 minutes with barely anything happening. Um, so yeah, about that exit, I would like to go home, you know. Cut her uh, mouth laughs like race at uh, in the, on her overworld sprite. That's very fast. Let's go. I know where I know where you're going. I will inter. I wanted to intercept you, but I know where you are. Yes. And what lies beyond? One way exit? Huh? Why wouldn't it be like a two way exit? Uh oh. She is obsessed with us. She does not want to let us go. There is nothing here in the ruins. Just monsters who attack you, attack you constantly. You know, I have met like numerous Luxus Eyewalkers who all want not to be picked on. Oh, and I completely missed um, the obvious like fact that that Lux monster looks kind of like Mike Wazowski from you know Monsters Incorporated. 
it's it's kind of funny how how many obvious things you overlook while you are like laser focused on on the game. But yeah, that uh, that focus on the game, like I said uh, earlier in the video, it like prevents me from like talking about a bunch of unrelated stuff that I had in mind while uh, imagining myself recording uh, more videos uh, while doing some menial tasks, you know, away from keyboard in the real world. So there have been more. Oh, what? Not by your hand? Asgore in red text and all caps. Well, the gore part makes it sound kind of metal. I uh, look. It's okay. I want to be challenged, so I will try not to get killed by him. Whoever he is. Well, I actually am starting to believe you. But I still want to go home. Uh, so it looks like I can skip the pie. Is it like too late to pick it up at this point? It is. Interesting. Alright, I see how it is. I don't like to... wait. I don't like to miss out on stuff. Here's what we're gonna do. A quick reload. And uh, we're just gonna get our cake. I hope, yeah, okay, looks like OBS picks up the game again. Um, oh! Cool, we have skipped. I, I, I have saved, that's good. Did I? I don't remember saving. Give me my cake. Until then, or until the next save point. Yeah, I know. This is uh, close to the end of the demo. 
Alter. An Ghana. I smell a boss fight. Well, I know there is a boss fight, so... Yes. We need to fight. I've changed my mind. I can I do that? Oh, cool. Wow, I, I have never tried that when I played. I don't think. So, can we, like, get an, an ending where we stay with her and nothing bad happens? I'll go to my room and be a good kid. Ah, I remember now. You, you, you are not allowed to stay here. Because this happens. Yeah, I, I remember actually doing that in the demo, I think. Like I, like I said, I tried everything I could in the demo. Including like killing every monster and stuff to like get as powerful as possible. I don't know who turned off the lights, but yeah, I, I cannot sleep. A voice in my head tells me to persevere, to, you know, to continue. I'm sorry, Toriel, but we have to fight. Well, there was nothing to do there, and I couldn't sleep. Well, we both knew it would have to come to this, so fight me. Cool music, inbound. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of stats. Talking, but I'm glad you know. Okay, I see that the 
Radio Pnit. Hey, this is actually kind of like a combat training, right? So that's helpful. Probably. This track is easily the best one in the demo. Uh, that's uh, don't know. I also have the side. I think it heals for more. I need. I need to be hurt a little bit harder. Uh, so I had difficulty figuring out this fight, and I admit I just just fought her, and I um. In the demo, uh, but you know, I know all the ways to um, to go through her without killing her. So basically, you want to try to spare her, even though her name isn't yellow. That's what one of the frogs said. Like you know, that in, in the four frogs room, that was a bit of foreshadowing. You can you have to try sparing even if the name. Hello. You can also like miss an attack and it also counts. As you see, I didn't see that at first when I first tried that uh, a long time ago, but yeah, the, di the dialogue has sub subtly changed. The silence is just grows ever longer. Come on, Toriel, I am dancing in circles around you. I am obviously prepared to handle myself, even on level one. Damaged me in like how many turns now? Six. Why oh, I'm trying not to kill you? <laughs> no, nah. She did not see that. Huh? That I can handle myself. fight would be over already if I tried to fight you. I think this attack is the worst. It can hit me if I am not careful. The movement uh, in, in the you know little box is kind of uh, fast and it's hard to maneuver precisely. Oh, I almost got hit. She only has like, what, three or four attacks? It's cool that the fireballs now like actively out of your way. Uh, <laughs> what if I... What if I... Oh, I cannot. I literally cannot actually like abandon the fight anymore. The, the option to run away is like gone. So... <laughs> I can't. What would happen if you did? I guess it's just not predicted by Toby. I mean, like, or not not scripted by him. Like, I mean, what would have happened? Like, uh, surely he, he wouldn't just, you know, have you fight for this entire thing again.
I guess if he allowed the player to flee here, then he'd have to like put in in like an alternate ending where you just kind of live with her. But yeah, it's not in the game. Uh, Perhaps, but I do believe I have a family to get back to. So by the way, the fight is still going. I did not discard this myself, but you can attack her. I'm not gonna do that though. Attacking now would be, uh, you know, a critical hit. Exactly. Very much so, yes. And there is nothing here. Good. Excellent. I will be trying to come back. Oh, I will. No, I don't. I guess you would... Um, be kind of... Uh, heartbroken about letting me go. I'm very... touched by this. Wait, but where did she go? It's time for more backtracking, that's right. We gotta find her. What if I've changed my mind my mind now? Where is she? More of the same. The light goes out automatically, unless Toriel is here. But I do believe she is gone. Yes. Not here. Well... Where is the knife? I could like, take another slice with me on the road. Or for the road. Here. Not here. It's me. Ah, uh, I can only do that with the uh, top wall, and you have to be careful not to hit a door. Um, but so yeah, before we leave, I guess we'd like to find her. But yeah, that's uh, let's let's you know let's end this video because uh, it's been a very long time. So yeah. Take it easy.